I want to welcome you to the former corporate headquarters of Best Products. You know, in the company's heyday, this was truly special, a very special visionary place. And you can see that from the iconic Art Deco stone eagles that remain uh, on the property. As some of you may recall, our county bought this property at a considerable discount in 2011 with the idea of turning it into a government center. But as we look closer at the site and reflected on its strategic location along the I-95 corridor, we concluded that there were better uses, and indeed there are. In January of this year, our Board of Supervisors directed county staff to market the property for economic development. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here today, to announce Green City, the future of Henrico in the beginning of a public process. The initiative that we're sharing with you today, Green City, is proposed as a next generation community. It is aspirational, but not experimental. It is challenging, but also achievable. The vision for Green City brings together existing best practices in sustainability science with climate commitments these are commitments already embraced by individuals and businesses around the world, but not always supported by the cities that we are building today. Green City will provide an alternative for residents who want to live and work in better planned and more diverse communities. It leverages underdeveloped real estate assets like this one toward these goals. This is prime real estate just off Interstate 95 that for nearly a decade under county ownership has generated nothing for our taxpayers. In fact, it's been a burden. This is an ideal location for something bold. I applaud Green City's vision, not only from a planning and design standpoint, but also a financial one. This is a private development that calls for no use of existing county funds and no upfront investment by the county. This carries no financial risk to our taxpayers. This will not add to the county's debt. However, it will provide us with jobs, investment, and countless other benefits. Green City, like in Rico County, is people focused. Let me repeat that. It is people focused. The developers are committed to inclusion in every aspect with its guiding principles of community building and inclusion, Green City aims to rejuvenate the best products headquarters and save the Eagles as a model project for the green building movement. They're offering, offering a smart, sustainable way to grow and with an emphasis that I really appreciate on parks, the green belt, trails. Our residents lead active lives. We hear this all the time. They want another sidewalk, a bike lane. They like walkable communities, and you have that here. Green City will be a diverse, walkable, arena-anchored mixed-use development. Over the course of the next 10 to 12 years, Green City is planned to include 2 million square feet of commercial office space, 280,000 square feet of retail space, two hotels, up to 2,400 residential units that will be a wide spectrum of types of housing, both for rent and for sale, of all price points and size. There will be a 17,000 seat regional arena that will put this area into the entertainment market. All of these uses will be built to the highest sustainability standards. I am excited about the prospects of having um, one of the world's most sustainable sports and concert arenas right here in Henrico. As a county, we have seen over the past decade the benefits of tourism, and more importantly for us, sports tourism every day. 
visitors in Henrico account for nearly $1 billion in annual economic activity in Henrico, a 17,000-seat arena, plus hotels and space for conventions will continue to make our county a premier destination along the East Coast.